last lesson, lesson number 10, I'm going to be using my own characters as a, um, an example, but that's putting clothing on characters and the form of the body and drapery and all that kind of stuff. I won't get too much into drapery, but to show you the basics. Let's get started with this lesson. So these are my own characters and in their costumes. Her, him, and we've got this girl here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over um, my Wolverine character, I think his name's Chad, cause he looks like a Chad, and um, Brittany here, who's a mouse. And I'm gonna change your costumes. So when it comes to clothing, you just want it draped well. So, I mean, you can look at any fashion magazine or any magazine with clothing and see how clothing drapes. It's just a study that you'd have to do for yourself and just start sketching people in t-shirts, tank tops, stuff like that. Um, or you have your own characters and then basically have them wear whatever clothes you find on the internet that they can, like hoodies, how, how does a hood look on the back from a front three quarter? How does a tank top drape? How do dresses are probably the most complicated, like big ballroom gowns to make them look right. So I'm gonna lower uh, the opacity to about 30. And then I'm gonna change uh, Brittany's outfit here to a, just a tank top. So I'm still gonna keep her form, right? Let's say I just wanted to bring her in a crop tank top. Right, so this is what it's starting to look like. I can put a pattern in it, like so. Now when you're doing their shoulders and stuff, now that the clothing's off, I did a lot of costume changes and character designs. So a lot of the times we're just uh, putting on clothes over the same body. You're gonna lose the rough edges because she's not wearing a jacket anymore. It's just her bare arms, right? Maybe I wanted her, maybe I wanted her a necklace. So just put a necklace on her. If I wanted the costume change, Say I wanted her hair in a ponytail, right? So, right, so keep her headband in, but say she's in a messy button, maybe the next sequence of the cartoon, she's coming out of the gym and she meets her friends. So, right, so just change it up like that. Her hair would obviously be up, she'd have her bangs down. But, uh, right? She have her hair up like that. All right. So she's going to the gym. And then she's going to have a little gym workout shorts. Right, there's her legs. Maybe she'll be wearing socks. Right, Maybe she got little socks. Cause she's wearing runners. Just a quick sketch of how or whatever kind of runner she's wearing. So it could be we'll change all that. So that's her that's your new current outfit. Right? And so Blake, maybe he's going to the beach. Right? And so we're gonna put him in a tank top. Maybe it's a, 
Got a beach sun. Like a retro surf tank top, whatever. Shoulders, I'm gonna keep puffy because they're bare. Like so. Maybe he doesn't have his hat on that day. Right? And he's just wearing his bare hair out, right? So maybe he's wearing a headband or something like that. Right? So he's wearing a sweatband. Bring that tank top down. He's wearing he's wearing Hawaiian board shorts. Like so. Drapery and how it should apply. So yeah, if you have a light board or Wacom tablet, wherever you just, you can just start by taking your character and doing different costume changes. So that ends uh, lesson number 10. And I want to thank you guys for um, hanging out. And if you are interested in our 2D program at Center for Arts and Technology, behold to just check our website. Have a good day. And thank you very, very much for, for being here with me for this. I'm glad I can open up and you know, teach people basic stuff that I wish I knew like many, many years ago. And I'm happy to be able to just give my little tidbit. So um, everyone take care and have a good, have a good evening.